Hello you all, this is Ascension Empress with your quick collective reading. We're just going to see real quick again like we did a few months ago. I think it was around the time of the retrograde. Um, who is spying on you? You know, what is this energy coming in, this communication? Um, for those who may have someone blocked, there has been some strong Page of Swords and Page of Cups energy. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and see what messages we have. May peace and blessings be upon you all. Thank you so much for your support, your love, booking with me, your patience, especially. Uh, many people are taking charge, okay? And I'm getting, there's this masculine energy, even the, the see, <laughs> the divine masculine. I was going to say divine. Wow, I was going to say demise, then I was about to say divide, so there is this negative, I'm getting this power struggle, this ego trip, okay, um, a lot of that knight of wands energy, it, it just can't be here, okay, because for example, you see that the divine feminine is stepping into her empress energy, the emperor, you know, this king of pentacles, reliable, supportive, you know, show and proves energy is really showing up and showing out, this is not the true energy that is going to be supporting this journey, this transformation, okay, so there is a little tension, um, I am getting, this could be someone's karmic, okay, so let's see, what messages do we have going into the past, they just, they, they, they mad, alright, look at that, alright, and emotional, with the king of cups, and I feel like there's also somebody else here who wants to offer you something. This could be the King of Pentacles energy. There could have been some manipulation. All right, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'm getting Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. This full moon maybe making someone. Yeah, look at that. I, wow. Okay, I was gonna say this full moon could have somebody extremely emotional. You know, their pride. They're holding it in, but they're about to burst. Somebody's about to. They're reaching their boiling point. Okay, and we're going to see why. Um, but if they're spying, it's probably because they're blocked. They don't have access. They're not winning the game that they've been trying to play. They're not getting the supply that they want because I'm getting this narcissistic energy. They want to come off as, you know, they may even try to dress the part. You know, I feel like this person may be very materialistic with this King of Cups energy. I'm looking at all this blue that they have on, you know, wanting to come off as trustworthy. You know, I'm hearing loyal, um, stable, emotion emotionally unbothered, but really their ego gets bruised so easily and then they're insecure. Okay, the, the nines have been popping out. I can't remember what sign it was. Was it Aquarius? Maybe it was Leo. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was Aquarius, but the nine, 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 that came out. Okay, the threes have been playing a role too, but we're just in the season of completion. So for those who aren't owning it or taking responsibility, you know, that ten of wands energy that a lot of us have been dealing with, especially with the full moon and Scorpio we just had. You know, if you're not taking responsibility, you will be in this energy. You will be in the nine of wands, you know, feeling drained, depleted, you know, playing victim, still being an insecure, okay? And it may even affect somebody's health. Look at that, all right? And y'all are definitely taking a stand <laughs> and walking away. I'm here physically and emotionally, all right? That's why. That's why. What do we need to look at that? What? Are, yes, that is why. Six of Swords. I'm hearing no hard feelings. Hmm. Separation. This person's going, they're being forced because you are deciding to protect your energy, pull back your energy, and walk away from the situation. Okay? They're being forced to go within and to reflect in this time of separation. Also, you. You're like, I would rather, okay? Any other messages? Look at that. Y'all, yeah. these cards, so aligned. And you know, it's crazy. I seen 777 earlier. I was looking at, you know, YouTube analytics, and 777 was just, it means you are aligned. And you do have the seven of wands here. And the Sagittarius energy, I often, I often think of the number seven, you know, truth, clarity. You may be demanding this. That's a requirement, okay? And I'm hearing in the meantime, you are not probably going to be deciding on something. Hmm, let's see. What messages do we have? What messages do we have? Someone, I was, ooh, I've seen that nine of pentacles. Okay, you definitely are, I was going to say, some of y'all choosing to be single, and you are not deciding on, you know, dating at this time. You're like, I'm cool. You know, enjoying this journey is what I'm seeing with the six of swords here. You also got the ten of cups, okay? Enjoying family, loved ones, those who truly support you. 
That's why, you know, with this Eight of Cups here, you walked away from the Seven of Cups. The confusion. Again, some type of manipulation. <laughs> I love it. I love, especially when somebody is dealing with a narcissist. I love when, you know, you can just check out, okay? You check out, act like they never existed, and you drop the baggage, okay? It's not that you're faking it or anything. Y'all are the hermit. I'm getting empress. I was going to say high priestess. So some of y'all I'm getting could be a mother figure, could be very intuitive as well. You're like, um, I do this. Virgo has this energy. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I said I do this. And Virgo had this energy around it's a lifestyle. So there's this commitment. There's this discipline. You have definitely set a boundary. I'm hearing like some type of, not criteria. But yeah, Leo, some Leo energy around the standard that you're setting. Y'all don't have no emotional baggage moving forward. Any other messages? Wow, look at that. Yeah, there's this innocence to you. Y'all are tapping into your childlike and still can't be fooled, which is a great combination. For you to be able to show up as a Page of Cups, the fool, again, I told you the Page of Cups and popping up with the Page of Swords, which inspired the reading. So somebody may be trying to come with an apology and wanting to commit. But if you're tapping into this Page of Cups fool energy, as you walk, you know, as you remove and, you know, face, what doesn't serve you? I'm getting this nine of swords energy. You're going within. Look, it's this is gonna be great. This is great. Let's see. Any other messages? What is Yes, I was hoping that's what I saw. Yes, 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 y'all. Let the blessings rain. Alright, I'm so I'm so excited. I'm speechless. I'm glad I did this reading. That's why they're watching. They're gonna see. They find what they're looking for. And it's crazy because if this person is watching the way they are, you know, they can have some, you know, not so negative intent. I mean, this part, again, somebody's just emotional. I don't see someone bringing, you know, much drama, the Knight of Wands, and no not to come into this reading. I, I see clearly, okay? Which makes, it makes sense with the Page of Swords, you know, you, that's all they can be right now. I mean, there could be some distance. The Eight of Cups, moving on. But if they are going to be emotional over this recognition, they must not know it's going to be happening over and over and over again. Much like Sagittarius energy. And that's why we got this full moon in Scorpio with the death card that just happened and these lunar eclipses. And there's a cycle. Many of y'all, again, there's this alignment, that 777. I just keep seeing, like, somebody may be feeling some type of way because they feel like it happened overnight for you. But when this death card is involved, that's a complete transformation on a soul level because you walked away from this illusion, from, I'm getting eight of swords energy. You reconcile some things within yourself by yourself with the hermit card. You forgave yourself. You forgave other people. Ancestors and, you know, I'm getting way back that you didn't even know with the Page of Cups. Approached it with this compassionate perspective of how can I develop, how can I transform this? How can I overcome this? So who cares if they think it happened overnight because of this death card? Just know it, it's going to hit different. It's going to happen again and again and again. It's not a one-hit wonder when the death card is involved. So that is your reading, you all. Thank you again so much for all your love and your support. If you would like a personal, you can email me. My information is down below. We're going to go ahead and put one monology. I know that's right. I guess spirit said three. You know that right? Empress energy. Yes. Whew. 
Your hard work is about to pay off. New moon in Capricorn. So utilize this eclipse energy, this full moon in Capricorn, and set your intentions for the next six months, y'all. It says, what do you need to release? What did I say? Okay, full moon, lunar eclipse, in Sagittarius, and in Capricorn. A new, a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Of course. Of course. I told you, there's somebody reliable here. There's someone who is stable. They're here to match your energy. They're here to show up, you know, as part of your victory and recognition for the sacrifices that you made. So that is your reading. I'm so excited for you all. Keep me updated. I love you. Please take care. Bye.